Good day, I'm Stacey Ann Smith, and this is your GIS News for January 29. Government is moving apace with plans to develop Jamaica's non-metallic mining industry and expand into value-added products. Portfolio Minister Philip Paulwell says they have been meeting a number of investors who are determined to set up shop in Jamaica. The major problem, again, has been the energy. energy, and we are solving that. We are going to give them the freedom to move towards their energy source, and we believe that that is going to be an era that will see significant growth in the, in the future. Minister Paulwell was speaking on JIS's Issues and Answers discussion program recently. By mainly exporting aggregates over the years, he said Jamaica had failed to capitalize on earnings from adding value from food-grade limestone, widely used in pharmaceutical and medical products. He disclosed that Jamaica would be hosting an international conference with the assistance of Jampro to promote the opportunities for value-added investments in the mineral sector. Government has called on members of the Consular Corps to help attract investments from the global trading community in the development of Jamaica's global transshipment and logistics hub. The Industry Investment and Commerce Minister Anthony Hilton made the call at a Board of Directors meeting of the Consular Corps of Jamaica recently. You can help us in a number of ways. Spread the word. Tell your network of influencers in your respective jurisdictions that Jamaica is a global asset. Tell them that we are open for their ideas and their investments. Tell them that there is a first mover advantage if they move now and if they do so quickly. And secondly, don't be left out of this global opportunity. A rising tide lifts all ships. The Jamaica Customs Department is looking to implement a new international IT system that will support a paperless operation and help the department compile accurate trade statistics. The ASICUDA World Information System program is currently used in over 85 countries. Commissioner of Customs Major Richard Rees says a team is in Trinidad and Tobago to look at the system there and to determine whether it's compatible with applications in Jamaica. Speaking at a recent GIS think tank session, he said the new web-based system supported the move for Jamaica to become a logistics hub, as well as being competitive as a cargo or transshipment destination. It will enable us to have advanced information on cargo manifests, advanced information on passengers, and we'll also be able to view bills of lading and other information. Meanwhile, Minister with Responsibility for the Public Service, Horace Daly, is expressing confidence that the Customs Department is ahead of the curve in becoming a first world department of government in line with the Vision 2030 Jamaica Development Goals. Customs will be there. Customs will be a first world custom department long before 2030. We believe in the skills, the knowledge, and the competence that we have at the Customs Department. The Minister was speaking on the weekend at the opening of an information exposition staged by the Customs Department to commemorate Customs Week. And finally, the Social Development Commission SDC resumes its island-wide series of Parish Fora tomorrow in St. Anne, focusing on the government and governance. Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller and Local Government Minister Noel R. Scott head the list of public officials who will be interacting with residents on that topic and other relevant issues. The St. Anne Parish Forum will be held at the St. Hilda's Auditorium in Brownstown starting at 4 p.m. Ministers of Religion, Justices of the Peace, Local Business Operators, Community Development Committees, PTAs and young people are specially invited to attend. And that's it for GIS News Today. I'm Stacey Ann Smith. Thank you for watching.